Hey, welcome to part 3 of my Lion King Let's Play. We're now in Simba's Return, a pretty maze-like level where you have a whole bunch of caves you gotta go through and you gotta find your way around. A really annoying part about this level is that if there's hyenas in the section you're in, you have to kill or you have to defeat each hyena before you can enter a cave, which is annoying if you don't know your way around and you get lost and then you gotta keep defeating the same hyenas you just beat and... All that nonsense. The easiest way to defeat a hyena is to actually jump on top of them and keep mashing the slash button, whatever your slash button is, because you can change the controls in this game. So usually it's X or Y, but just keep uh, mashing that X button and you'll be able to defeat them like like this. Like it's just a one hit KO. It's pretty easy. It gets it gets hard when there's a whole bunch of them on the same screen, and you can't really do that method anymore, and you just gotta keep slashing. Also, if you don't continually mash the X button, then they will uh, push you off and start, you know, growling and gnawing at you and all that great stuff. <laughs> anyway, there was a health power up right there. If you want to find the easiest way to get through this, don't take the path that I'm taking right now. This is only for health power ups and an extra life, so don't take this. Uh, right at the beginning you run right and there are three caves at the bottom you can choose from go to the one that's on the f the furthest away from you on the far right and that's the um, the path to go to get the quickest way out of here so, as I do now and then you can just follow me in the path that I take and it's, it's really it's not hard once you figure it out but first timers man this is a fucking brutal level Limited power-ups or limited health restores, you know, limited bugs, no system to help you, you know, which way you're going, and annoying hyena enemies that you have to continually fight just to get through the damn thing. It's a really annoying level, and yeah, that's all I have to say about that. Music's kind of cool, though. It's like a ritual, right? Anyway, take this one here. You got two hyenas over here. See, this is what I mean. Like, if there are two hyenas on the same screen, when you're fighting against one, the other one realizes you're there and starts attacking you, so you can't do that method all the time. Also, this hyena is a pain in the ass because it realizes you're here, like, while you're on the ledge, and then it doesn't want to go away from the edge, so you have to get yourself hit. It's a really really annoying enemy placement probably the worst enemy placement in the game see look I'm just waiting for it to react but it doesn't want to jump it just wants to bite at me because I'm right below it and I'm trying to lure it but it's not working there we go I took a big chunk of health right there just for that one hyena by far the worst hyena in this stage at least in my opinion anyway so here's basically the boss it's just four hyenas you get a health power up which is pretty good or a health boost or restore or whatever you want to call it bug and there are four hyenas here that's all you have to do is just defeat all four of them and you're done now we're on pride rock this is the final stage of the game where we finally face off with scar uh, mufasa's brother and the person who betrayed simba's father and now he's king of the kingdom. And don't do what I just did there. <laughs> the best thing to do with this uh, boss is to jump on him. And just keep clawing at him. Which is why I am not doing it. Oh, there we go. I start doing it. A better method, if you're really experienced, is to throw him. The only way you can throw him is when he starts panting. But it, your roar doesn't work against him. So you can't roar at him to make him start panting. And then, you know, throw him for maximum damage. What I tried to do there, I thought I saw an opening with the pant, but I didn't. And if you fail with the throw, he just comes on top of you and just destroys your health bar. So, honestly, I wouldn't recommend doing the, the you know, throw method. But it is the quickest way to defeat him. I, I just jump on top of him because, you know, Murphy's Law doesn't let me do stuff. <laughs> so pretty much you're on pride rock and you just gotta keep climbing up and you'll fight scar every once in a while honestly just avoid the hyenas 
and I'm really fucking up here with my platforming. So just avoid the hyenas and try to dodge the fire that the lightning strikes emit, which is easier said than done. There's plenty of bugs to restore your health, but you can still take a lot of damage very quickly, so if you don't have a single health power-up at this point in the game, you might have a bit of trouble. Also, for some reason in the Super Nintendo version, the lightning strikes happen a lot more frequently, so it's even harder in the Super Nintendo version because the lightning just doesn't seem to want to stop. So here's our second battle with Scar. He has no health bar or anything like that. All you gotta do is just keep mashing the slash button or keep jumping on top of him like that. And that does a lot of damage to him. You can pretty much end the thing very quickly, you see? Like, that, that didn't take any time at all. So right here, I'm just dodging hyenas and all that stuff. And I kind of like the music in this game, or in this final stage. It's really, you know, atmospheric, cin cinematic. I like it. Actually, I don't remember if it, if this music was ever played in the movie. I'm guessing it was. But again, I haven't watched the movie in a while, so I wouldn't know. So right here, see, you have like this, you have to jump on platforms and all that stuff, but I swear on my test playthrough, the lightning just did not want to stop and I could not complete it. Because the fire was there and I kept getting hit and knocked back and I fell down and it was annoying as all hell. So this is the final confrontation with Scar when you're on top of Pride Rock. All you gotta do is you gotta keep on pounding at him until he starts panting. Like that. Then you gotta throw him. Now, he's not gonna die from being thrown. You have to throw him off the edge. Once he starts panting, he's pretty much harmless because he won't do anything to you because he's out of energy. So you just throw him off either the left or right edge and that's it. That's the game. <laughs> that's the final boss. I made it look easy but believe me it really isn't a especially if you don't know what you're doing but yeah that was the Lion King for the Super Nintendo pretty good game this is probably my second time beating the game <laughs> seeing as my test recording was the first time I've ever beaten it and I'm got I gotta say after beating it I like this game a lot more now because you know before when I was a kid I was just frustrated with it I was like why can't I complete the stage? Stupid stalactites. I didn't know you were supposed to knock those shit down. Especially when you have to hit it more than once. You know, like... It doesn't... Like, it does rattle, but I guess I was a kid and... It's a 4x3 screen with... It's not HD or anything, so... I, I, maybe I didn't notice it as a kid. Right? <laughs> also, most kids aren't looking for something like that anyway. But yeah. That's the Lion King for the Super Nintendo, and there's Simba just in the same pose as Mufasa. Actually, I think it's the same screen, just without little Simba <laughs> on the rock. Everything the light touches is our kingdom. So yeah, that was The Lion King. A good game in my opinion, not the best game, but definitely one of the better movie adaptations on the Super Nintendo. There's been a sh terrible movie adaptations on the Super Nintendo. And I'm glad that The Lion King got, you know, the respect in the game development, you know, sector that it deserved. It wasn't just a ploy to get quick money or quick buck off The Lion King franchise. They actually decided to make a good game out of it, and it had a whole bunch of movie references, it was designed based around the game, and it catered to a lot of kids, you know? It, it was a hard game, don't get me wrong, but in terms of the movie and having a little bit of jokes here and there, it does say kill. Like, Scar orders the hyenas to kill him. I mean, that's kind of dark, but Scar is one of the darkest Disney villains ever to be created anyway so it was a good a good reflection of Scar from the movie and this is like a little melody type ending sequence I like it it's really calm like now you've defeated Scar and all the evil and the kingdom is over with and you know everyone's just happy and all that stuff Akuna Matara <laughs> anyway 
Uh, if anyone was wondering, when I say the hyena trio in part one, two, I think I said in both parts, but the hyena trio is Shenzi, Banzai, and Ed. And they're the first hyenas that Simba meets as a kid when he goes to the Elven Graveyard. And that's pretty much all. That's it, guys. That's that's the Lion King for the Super Nintendo. I hope you enjoyed the Let's Play. It, was, it wasn't a very long Let's Play. It was about a half hour long, but... A great Let's Play nonetheless, I believe. Or I think. I hope. Please let it be a good Let's Play. <laughs> anyway, guys. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you later.